When I moved back to my hometown four years ago, it's because I wanted a high paying job in software engineering. But if I said that my favorite sports teams didn't play a factor in my move, I'd be lying. What's good YouTube, it's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing my throwback Chicago sports jersey collection. And make sure you watch until the end because I have one jersey that's technically not Chicago sports, but still fits in the collection. In my last video, I mentioned how Chicago is a major sports town and all of the teams play within city limits, which is pretty rare. And before we get started, I have a trivia question for you guys. What is the only Chicago sports team that still has its original name? Put your answer in the comments below. All right, we're gonna get started with some of my vintage Chicago sports clothing. Right here, I have a Bulls t-shirt from the first three-peat. You see it says easy as one, two, three. Next up, I have two Chicago Bulls championship locker room t-shirts. This is after they won the fifth championship in 1997. And finally, we have a t-shirt from the Bulls last title. This is the repeat three-peat t-shirt. You can see it's got all six trophies on it. It's got some pictures of the skyline, which probably looks a little bit different nowadays. All right, and next up, I have a pair of authentic Chicago Bulls shorts. These are some Mitchell and Ness Hardwood Classics Authentics. Got the embroidery on the inside, Chicago Bulls logo on the side. But this is a nice pair that I picked up, good for summer fits, you know, when the weather gets a little hot outside, which isn't too often over here, but you know how it is. Now I'll show you some items from my hat collection. This is a Mitchell and Ness throwback logo Chicago Blackhawks winter hat. Really nice and cozy. Got the red pom-pom on the top. This is, you know, cause those arenas get cold when they're playing hockey. So gotta keep the head warm. Continuing with hats, I'm gonna show you guys my Chicago White Sox hat collection. As you can see, it's pretty sizable. Now the White Sox were founded in 1900 and their original name was the Chicago White Stockings. They didn't get the White Sox name until three years later. They play at Guaranteed Rate Field, which is located at 333 West 35th Street. Now let's check out some of the hats I own. This is a black White Sox hat with a white logo, red trim. This is from the 50s, they wore these on field. Here we go, this is a fashion hat. They didn't wear this, this is not authentic, but I still think it looks pretty dope. It's got the Red Sox logo with some really nice red stitching. I really like this hat. Now this hat, you would think is not authentic, but it actually is. In the 70s, I think, the White Sox wore blue uniforms. Here we go with the St. Patrick's Day Special Edition White Sox hat. You got the clover on the back, the green Sox logo. Every season, the White Sox wear green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and that Irish heritage. Now we have a White Sox hat from the 80s. Not a lot of people like this hat, but I actually think it looks pretty slick. It's got the cursive C. Got the red brim on there. Here we have another fashion hat. This is all red with the current logo. The, the White Sox did wear red uniforms, but the Sox logo was similar to the blue one that I just showed you a couple of hats ago. Now we have a super dope, authentic White Sox hat with the World Series patch on there, MLB logo on the back. This one's really nice. It's very well worn. You don't want to see the inside of the brim. It's not looking too great. Now finally, I've got this crazy deluxe fashion White Sox hat with every single logo on that. Like, this is this is nuts. This is a crazy hat, but I, I really love it. I think this is pretty collectible. All right, let's get into my Cubs hats now. Now, the Cubs were founded in 1870, so they're the oldest Chicago sports team. They didn't get the Cubs name, though, until 1903. Of course, you know, they play at Wrigley Field. That's 1040 West Addison Street. Now, let's check out some of my Cubs hats. There you go with the early 1900s Cubs logo. Really cool, it's a standing Cub holding the bat. And it's more of like a navy blue, which is different from their current blue color. Now here we have a Chicago Cubs road cap. They wore these in the 90s. They don't wear these anymore. I, I kind of wish they would bring them back. And we have a World Series hat. Got the nice World Series logo from 2016. MLB logo on the back. Now here is a Cubs, also World Series hat. We've got the trophy on there, the gold top and the gold trim around the C. This is the one they wore on opening day the very next season after winning the title. And then we have a just, you know, plain Jane. You gotta have the regular Cubs hat in your arsenal in Chicago. It's just a must. You don't get more classic than this one. And I saved this crazy fashion deluxe hat for last. You can see it says Chicago on the back. I have the 1990 All-Star Game patch on there and the nice alternate logo from the 80s. There you go. Those are my Cubs and my White Sox hats. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get into the throwback Chicago sports jerseys, starting with the Blackhawks. Now the Blackhawks are one of the original six NHL teams. They were founded in 1926. They play at the United Center, 1901 West Madison Street. 
and we got a nice retro Blackhawks jersey. Now, the Blackhawks are one of those teams that just has not changed things up. They have one of the most beautiful jerseys in all of pro sports. This one is so old, it's actually a starter jersey, if you could believe that one. No name, no number on the back. The really nice embroidered Blackhawk logo right there. All right, next up, I have a Chicago Cubs throwback batting practice jersey. Get the nice Cubs logo there. Number 23 on the back for Ryan Sandberg. This is a nice breathable mesh jersey. This is an authentic Mitchell and Ness. Cooperstown Classic. Now let's get into my Chicago Bears jerseys. The Bears were founded in 1920. They're one of the two original NFL franchises, but they started off in Decatur, Illinois, and they were called the Staley's. They moved to Chicago one year later, and now they play at Soldier Field, which is located on museum campus. Here we go with the controversial quarterback, Jay Cutler. Nice road white jersey, number six on the back, Nike. I picked this one up when it was on sale after Cutler left the team. I had to scramble to pick this up. I think it was $20. All right, let's move on to my authentic Brian Erlacher Bears jersey, number 54, Erlacher on the back. This is the home navy blue. This is a Reebok jersey. You got the NFL shield right there. You know, gotta respect Erlacher, one of the greatest linebackers in all of Bears history. Finally, Finally, we have my favorite throwback jerseys. It's the 90s Chicago Bulls jerseys. The Bulls were founded in 1966 and they play at the United Center. Now you may be wondering, the NBA is older than 1966. Didn't Chicago have a franchise before then? They did. It's the Chicago Stags. That was one of the original NBA teams, but now we have the Bulls and we have six titles. Scottie Pippen throwback jersey, number 33. Road red, Pippen on the back. Dope jersey, I wear this to the United Center to see the Bulls all the time. And of course, no jersey collection would be complete without a Michael Jordan jersey. This is the late 90s Bulls alternate black jersey. I really wish they would bring these back. Number 23 on the back with the red lettering, white trim. This is so dope. It's a champion jersey. What can you say that hasn't been said about Michael Jordan? All I know is that when I'm rocking number 23 and some J's on my feet, I feel like I can touch the sky. And y'all know the second Bulls three-peat wouldn't have happened without number 91, Dennis Rodman. Got this champion red Bulls jersey, number 91 on the back, Rodman, Hall of Famer, all-time great rebounder. And the last jersey I have for you technically isn't a Chicago sports jersey, but it's Michael Jordan. It's the 1992 USA Basketball Olympic Dream Team jersey, Jordan, number nine on the back. On the inside, you have this really nice gold screen printing with all the results of the Olympic Games. Jordan and the Dream Team brought home the gold. So if you think my throwback Chicago sports jersey collection is dope, go ahead and finesse that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It really would mean the world to me. Comment below your favorite Chicago sports team and also let me know if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Maybe I'll do a Air Jordan collection video next. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Peace.